What's going on, Bellplex fam? So in this video, we're gonna be talking about EMOMs. I'm gonna tell you, one, what it stands for, um, some ways that they might look, other ways that uh, you can write an EMOM, um, and then ways I want you to potentially adjust EMOMs that I write for you, okay? So let's get started. If you don't know what this stands for, this stands for every minute on the minute, okay? So with these, you will need a clock and something you can look at. Maybe you can download an app that beeps for you. There's a ton of different ones out there, all right? So every minute on the minute. So the way you will see EMOMs written is EMOM with a number right next to it. So every minute. So EMOM, let's just call it, uh, let's do 15 for this one. So EMOM 15, this stands for every minute on the minute for 15 minutes. So you're gonna keep doing whatever's written here for the allotted time, all right? Now, the way you'll usually see EMOMs written is with a few different exercises, all right? So in this case, let's just say we have minute one is 10 sit-ups. Minute two is 10 kettlebell swings. Minute three is 10 burpees. Okay, so the way that you will go about this workout is three, two, one, go, boom, the clock beeps. You're in your first minute, you will do 10 sit-ups. Whatever is written here, you will do that and then you will rest the remainder of the minute. So let's say these 10 sit-ups take you 20 seconds. You will then rest for 40 seconds. If, you take, if they take you 30 seconds, you'll rest 30 seconds. If it takes you 40 seconds, you rest 20, you get the idea. So the faster you go, the more rest that you have. That clock beeps for the second minute, okay? Now you're going into 10 kettlebell swings. You do those 10 kettlebell swings in 10 seconds, you then have 50 seconds of rest and so on, all right? That third minute beeps, we're doing 10 burpees. You finish the burpees, rest the remainder of the minute. You will then go back to the top. This is your fourth minute. This is then your fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and so on and so forth until you get to 15 and then you were done, all right? You can see EMOMs written any sort of way, 20 minutes with four exercises, 20 minutes with five exercise, 10 minutes with two exercises, all right? Um, unless it is a typo, they, you will get through each round in even amount of times, all right? So in this case, you have the three exercises, you will do five total rounds of this, all right? Now, there are a few different ways that EMOMs can be written. So you can do every two minutes on the minute, okay? So that might look like the first round is 10 sit-ups and 10 swings, all right? Let's draw a little line right there. And then maybe your second round is 20 burpees, okay? So the way that this one will be written is three, two, one, go, that clock beeps. This is your first round, not necessarily your first minute, it's your first round because you're going every two minutes. So you have two minutes to get 10 sit-ups and 10 swings done. Let's say that takes you 45 seconds, you have a minute 15 to rest. Then when the clock hits the two minute mark, boom, you're going into 20 burpees. However long that takes you, you rest the remainder of the two minutes. So let's say this takes you a minute 45 seconds. You only got 15 seconds rest till we're back to there and so on and so forth. Let's say it's E2 mom, um, we're doing this for 20 minutes. So you're gonna do each one of these things 10 times. All right, I hope that makes sense. Now, another thing that you might see with uh, E moms, let me just make this a little less messy is you might be looking at this like, okay, cool, I understand the concept, but bro, there's no way I can do 10 burpees in a minute. That's totally fine. So EMOMs, when you were doing them, I want you to uh, be comfortable in having a level of autonomy in your workouts, meaning I want you to be, feel comfortable changing them if you need to, because especially in something like this, or maybe you see 10 calories on the rower, 15, uh, you know, burpees in a minute, whatever it is, everybody's gonna be a little different with a lot of those things in terms of their ability. Now, a general rule of thumb I like to use with people is you should have roughly 15-ish seconds to rest, all right, at the least. So you might end up with 30 seconds to rest each minute, but at the most, or sorry, at the least, you should have 15 seconds to rest, which means if 10 burpees are gonna take you a minute and 10 seconds, you're gonna need to adjust those numbers, maybe, you do this and you're like, okay, I can do seven burpees in 45 seconds. 15 seconds rest, boom. Seven burpees is your number for this. 
or maybe it's 15 calories on a rower and you don't think you can do that in under a minute, you might change that to 10 calories or eight or nine or whatever it is that you need to change it to to make sure you're getting the right stimulus for the workout, okay? So that's something I want you to keep in mind. Whatever the reps are or the exercises, you might need to change things depending on your ability to do stuff, all right? You can also increase that. So especially when it comes to like a lot of this kettlebell stuff, um, you might not have the right weights that I'm kind of envisioning when I write this workout. So I might say 10 kettlebell swings, right? If I write 10 kettlebell swings in a minute, 10 swings takes a 10 or 15 seconds. I want these to be heavy. You might say, Pat, the heaviest kettlebell I have is 35 pounds and it's just pretty light for me. Then no problem. I want you to feel comfortable also increasing. Maybe you do 15 or 20 kettlebell swings, right? It's not exactly what I'm looking for, but that's totally fine. Or maybe you do 10 kettlebell swings on each arm or five on each arm, something like that, okay? So I want you to feel comfortable. I'm gonna give you guys your EMOMs but I want you to feel comfortable kind of switching things just a little bit to make these workouts right for you because that is the idea with EMOMs, all right? Is to make them right for you and still make them challenging, okay? So keep that in mind when you're going through your EMOMs. I am pretty sure that answers everything. Um, again, if you guys have questions, don't hesitate to reach out. That is EMOMs. Keep this in mind because you will see some of them popping up, all right? I'll see you guys in the app.